Hey, hey, and welcome to Darius Comic School. And today we'll take a look at issue 75 of Invincible, the Wiltrum War. And lately I got into Invincible. I didn't know it existed. I mean, I knew it existed, but um, the drawings weren't really convincing from the get-go. So I kind of skipped it and then with time it um, got like really gorgeous and I started taking a look at the TV show and I got pumped and so I got now into reading the comic and this was um, one I found on eBay for very cheap um, because I live in Germany and I think this English um, or American issue was not as um, sought after so I got it and I tell you I I read it and I have a few things to say about it because um, on the one hand I had fun, I was impressed, but on the under, other hand I was kind of, um, I don't know, not so much impressed and I thought to myself, well, uh, look at this, this is not super complicated, um, I mean if Ryan Otley can do this, and not that this is not work, but um, it's doable. Like it's it's not it's not something very very super complicated. I mean, sure, tons of ana anatomy and a lot of beautiful drawings like here, but as you can see here, like um, a lot of stuff going on. Also very beautifully drawn, but it's not impossible to draw stuff like this. Um, invincible, pretty simple, the Omni-Man 2, but um, yeah, it's not these pages, it's, it's like the beginning that was kind of sobering, because I will show you, yeah, so, and then uh, once I read the story, I was kind of a bit underwhelmed, even though it was like a big shocking revelation, and then once the episode ended, like here on this cliffhanger, I was like, oh man, I want to read uh, where this goes and then like science dog I was like oh man this doesn't look so good who wants to read science dog and once I started reading science dog um, this story was almost better than the first story so I was kind of kind of impressed um, let me show you so the first the, the comic starts are out and we see um, a planet and it's I don't know, like, not not super great. Then we see this guy and um, pretty basic background and beautifully drawn everything. But it's, it's kept kind of simple and economic and pretty bu beautiful and clear. And then we get the big money shot, like, this is beautiful. So you're now drawn into the story. Um, the beast, totally cool. And um, the ship is also very great, but uh, once we get that, we get like pretty basic um, stuff and basic panels and faces and no background. And don't get me wrong, like uh, doing this is not super easy. And this issue, I think, had um, more pages than a normal issue. So Ryan Otley and the whole team, like they were... Uh, you know what I mean, you have to deliver more pages than usual and they should look good because it's, a, it's an issue 75. But you definitely can see that it stays economic and um, also like here not, not much going on. And then they go into space and everything definitely looks great. But um, there's a great economy to these pages. Um, nothing super fancy, but yeah still at a very high level so i i don't want to criticize this i'm just analyzing that um i think ryan otley is not gu guessing himself out and very beautiful drawings i was enjoying this but at the same time so i was looking like yeah okay man th this is possible like um three people on this panel but yeah it takes a while and again ryan otley said um that by doing comics, he got better at comics. 
Um, it's not that you start great. It's that you start and then you stick with it and you try to deliver always your best. And it's definitely a time-consuming thing. But with time or with ta hours put in, your knowledge of hands, your knowledge of shapes, of composition will get better. And so... Um, pretty amazing stuff what's going on here I, I i had fun and some cool talk i was definitely reminded um to dragon ball z somehow and i don't want to spoil too much but yeah pretty cool stuff but also um kind of kept sil simple and this page too like there's a lot of explosion but it's not overwhelming i think um, I maybe would have done this a bit more beautiful, but probably he thought to himself, okay, this is not the money shot, this is not what people want to see, um, maybe this is what people want to see, and that's where he delivers, and yeah, it's tons of work doing comic, I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing um, a video and saying something like, uh, being a comic artist, some of the hardest jobs in the world. I don't want to say that because who knows what the hardest jobs in the world are. But it's not. But doing art and doing sequential art is pretty taxing. Um, I would assume, unless you get really good, but putting together all these poses, um, all these figures, um, making the, them look right and anatomically correct, and that does definitely use up a lot of your um, mental capacity and yeah so definitely beautifully delivered great stuff um, I think Ro Robert Kirkman also writes really cool but I have to say I have always something to criticize yeah here some some major person dies and then they start to battle um, but yeah th this story was kind of great but it also left me like um, okay it's fine it's fun but it's nothing too special nothing that moved me too much and then I was reading the science talk I, I, I skipped it here like I, I closed the comic and I didn't want to read it and then I started reading it and I don't know what it was but something in this comic clicked it had the magic um, even though at the first glance it looks pretty bland it was great like um, the panels I enjoyed the story I enjoyed the beats I started to enjoy the art and what it's about and and the shapes and how this guy runs and slides and how he climbs down and how he lands and on the first glance I was kind of disappointed that now I have to put up with this and in the end, I was happy to read the story because it got me involved. Like, um, and I don't know, I, I can't really say what it is. Like, um, drawings, I would say, are equally good or a bit different. It's definitely, um, I think this one is, um, who is this guy? Uh, Cory Walker. And, of course, not on the same level as maybe The Invincible, but still very good. And I enjoyed the story so much, probably because, like, I don't know. Um, I can't really say. But I really was into the story, like, time-traveling stuff. And just the characterization, it all clicked for me. So, yeah, I hope you could take something um, from this video... If you take something from this video, is it, it's like um, get in the game, stay in the game, start drawing, get better, get the knowledge you need. Um, don't judge a book by its cover, um, but the cover should be good. And yeah, kind of do your thing and have fun.